Hi, my name's Mike French. Uh, I'm an owner and uh, one of the bakers here at Stonehouse Coffee and Roastery, Niswa. We have been uh, doing these scones for the last six years. They have become so popular, we've decided to uh, offer our scone mix online and, and in store. And what this video is about is to how to show you how to use this scone mix because it's a lot, not about just the mix, but technique in itself. So if you uh, stick with me here, we'll go through the process so that you too can have scones like we do here. What I want you to do when you purchase this or receive it the night before, I want you to put it in the refrigerator because temperature is very important on having a well-developed scone. I'm going to put this into our uh, food process and hopefully you have one of these at home. I like to use it. You don't need to use a food processor, but it works really good to get the butter interred with the, the flour mix. Notice I'm just using the blade in the food processor, nothing else. I mean, not a grater, not a stirrer, just the, the one blade. You know it's just right when it starts forming a little funnel. Then the texture is just perfect. it out in there. I always like to break the eggs into the bowl first. If it's really humid, then you got to kind of watch your moisture content a little bit. But just nice and mix up yolk up with uh, your milk. Pour it right in to my mix. Now, we've got dry mix and milk here. Now it's also very cold. It's not crazy amount of moisture in there. It's still kind of dry, it's fluffy, it's rough. That's perfect. That's exactly what you want. Now we're going to use frozen berries. It's very, very important that those berries be frozen when they go in here. They're going to add structure to it. If you use warm berries, they're going to get off too much moisture. You won't get scones, you'll get sconookies, which are little flat cookie-like scones. Now here's the point where we mix it up nice. We want to spread these berries around so that they are actually throughout the dough. And as you ball these up, you're also going to make sure that there's berries in every scone. See how that is? Well mixed in like that. You've got all the berries in, beautifully colored. And they haven't bled yet. We use these baking pans. You can use any size baking pan you want. Uh, you can determine the size of your scone that you want to serve. But just re remember that's going to change the baking time. You're going to have to watch them very carefully. You scoop in, form it up like a little baseball. And this will actually come out to be about six and a half to seven ounces. Put a lot of sugar, because I like a lot of sugar. The treat's supposed to be sweet, I think. Now these go in the oven and they'll bake for uh, I'll put timer on for 20 minutes, then I'll come in and spin them, and set the timer for another 8, then I'll come in and watch them, and then I'll do the toothpick test just to make sure they're done in the center. The ideal scone will actually finish baking right on the pan. Okay, now it's time to spin our scones. This is about ready to go off. It's been about 20 minutes. Uh, I want to get you. I want to see what these are looking like. This is at the 25th mark. Notice how they've raised. They're looking really, really alive. We're, but they're still quite, quite undone. So we're going to spin them around, head them back in. These went in a little bit later. They're a couple minutes behind. It just works out real good if you really pay attention to the just almost done stage of these scones. You don't want to overbake them. And you certainly don't want to underbake them. So it, this is a place where judgment plays in, but it's not so hard to do. Hey folks, these are the scones hot out of the oven now. I wish you could smell these because they are crazy, crazy good. These are how your scones should look. They are uh, nice and lightly brown on the outside, a little crisp. They're going to be soft and wonderful on the inside. And I'll even show you our little toothpick trick this toothpick into the inside and you pull it back and she's clean. Now she comes all juicy and doughy well she's not right yet so it's these are really done. Now they're going to finish up they're baking right on the pan. 
We're not going to allow them to sit in there until they're totally done on the inside. Otherwise, the outside is going to be overdone. Folks, thank you very much for your time. If you'd like this product, you can order it at stonehousecoffee.com. Or if you're in Nisswa, you can stop by our store. So come on in. We'd be glad to see you.